and I know who I'm talking to, but uh, you got to showcase the new offensive system, the new defensive system. Of course, you've been doing this for a while, but uh, doing it against St. Joseph Central, what was that like today? Ooh, it was tough. Uh, I feel like a lot of us, uh, we put a lot of effort into it, but we can definitely get a lot better in the future, and that's what we strive to do. And uh, Alec, you know, it's a, it's a top secret offense right now. Shh, don't want Lincoln Prep to know, but... Uh, you know, one thing that is noticeably different is getting under that center. Uh, what's it like? It just seems like, without giving anything away, it seems like an offense that's really predicated on quick cuts, quick decisions, kind of explain what's going on here without giving everything away, you know, top secret, all that stuff. Um, it's, a lot, it's a lot more uh, physical than last year. Like, when teams spread it out, like how we did last year, how Central does, it's not very physical. You can get away with, um, I mean, just, it's just physical football when you're under center running the offense that we're running so it doesn't matter how big or fast you are if you're f more physical and you want to if you want to try harder than the other team then you're going to have success no matter who you play and Caden being you know power running back of course you were behind Dom Hurst for a lot of last year you guys played a completely different role but uh this year power running is part of this game I mean what's that like to be kind of that that tip of the spear as far as the running game goes uh, the way I like to put it is that I'm the hammer and the other team's the nail and that's all we gotta do. We gotta hammer the nails, get through that line, and score, make yards. And as far as defense goes, uh, once again, top secret. You, you got a lot of, you know, you wanna let uh, Lincoln Prep unwrap, unwrap that present, but uh, defense just seems a lot more aggressive. Uh, guys just flying off of the corners. Uh, what's it like being a part of this right now? Uh, it's, it's amazing. I feel like we're changing the way the program was from last year because a lot of people know we didn't do as well as we were wanting to. But I feel like the defense we're using now and then the offense we're going to do is going to bring us plenty of success this season coming up. And a final question. Uh, one thing that's noticeable between this year is the intensity. I mean, it is go, go, go. It's coaches yelling at the top of their lungs. Uh, it's hot right now, so that kind of increases it. Uh, what are these sidelines like when it's uh, such a frantic, intense pace like it is right now? Uh, we get pretty amped up. And uh, I feel like it helps the whole team feed off energy that the sideline uh, puts out. So I feel, I feel like it makes everyone play better the more high intensity you go. We just got to keep the energy up and we just got to keep rolling. I mean, we've only been running this offense for like, well, what would you say, eight practices. And yeah, uh, like we, we went up to Northwest. We've been playing some big schools, 5A, 6A schools. And uh, once the season rolls around, I think we'll be, we'll be ready. What do you think? I feel like, uh, like, Pretty much what he said that <laughs> since we've been going against all these uh bigger schools when we went to northwest and stuff and since we haven't had a lot of practice there's still plenty of uh plenty of time for us to grow as a team and when the season f finally does roll around the first team that we play we're going to hit them in the mouth absolutely well no that's all i got hey i appreciate your time guys thank you you know, I saw the offense for the first time. I saw the defense for the for the, for the first time. Of course, top secret, you know, we're, we're, we're keeping that under the cap. But uh, how'd you feel about today, especially competing against a really solid Lafayette Central team? St. Joe Central. Or St. Joe. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Not bad. It was, um, it's like I told our kids, you know, what we weren't trying to win today. I mean, shoot, it's June 21st. So um, our target goal was we want to get 30 varsity reps of O, 30 varsity reps of D, and then, you know, 30 for the, the young kids on each side of the ball. So I think we got 25 0, 25 D, and then 20 for the youngins. So um, got some good reps, did some good things, had great video. My youngest boy was filming with the drone, and we had some film from the sideline. So really good teaching video. Um, had a lot of good things happen. You know, I don't know if you saw the defense that made them run oh. all the way to the goal line because they, they decided they'd watch a play finish. Uh, so we'll get that out of them. But, um, did some good things on O. The great thing is it wasn't perfect, so we have a lot to work on, which is good, um, and a lot to learn from. Absolutely, and uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, it just seems like things are getting a little more ramped up just week by week. The intensity is getting uh, bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, what's that like kind of as a coach where you're trying to trying to ramp it up a little bit, but not too much, you know what I mean? Because some people can overdo it during the summer. It's but, a uh, fine line. Uh, it's a science, and if you figure it out, let me know if somebody's got a magic cure. But uh, you know, we're cranking it up in the weight room. Kids are still trying to learn the pace that I want. Um, I kind of lost my marbles yesterday. Uh, our varsity lifted a real high volume this morning, and then they come out, no excuse, come out and compete. Uh, so they're getting the hang of it. It's, um, you know, Northwest, we went up to that camp, that team camp up Northwest. We battled some big schools. It's a big school. Uh, like I said, did some good things, some bad things. We'll keep
keep the intensity up. See you, buddy. We'll keep it up through June. Bring them back that week after July 4th will be go time. And then we'll kind of start scaling them back a little bit mentally on them. Um, get their legs back a little bit, try to get ready for the season. But um, they're catching on to what we want as far as pace and physicality. It's like I told our kids, I don't want to win today. I want the St. Joe kids and the staff to say, you know, I got to think your kids work hard and they're physical. Um, and that's what every one of their coaches said. And even their players stood up and said, God, I think you guys are physical. Yeah, so we're getting there. All right. Well, no, that's all I got. Cool.